Counselors, Jim Solbach here. Bankruptcy discharge violations, automatic stay violations. This is a quick update on recent cases uh, across the country uh, regarding issues regarding automatic stay and discharge injunction violation cases. Here's one uh, we're going to talk about today, real briefly. In Ray Murphy, it's uh, April of last month. Uh, Northern District of uh, Georgia and it involves the issue of if something occurs post petition that violates the automatic stay if the creditor doesn't know that there was a filing uh, what's the effect well in every jurisdiction and certainly in the Second Circuit transactions in violation of the automatic state are void they're void ab initio which means they it never happened of course um, and this judge found this. There was a deed that was filed. Creditor didn't know there was a filing. The court still found that there was a violation of the automatic stay. And this was the order. Ordered that the recording of the security deed in the public record is rendered null and void and without any effect. Now, here's the distinction, however. There is a violation of the automatic stay and there's a willful violation of the automatic stay. So this was a violation of the automatic stay. Nobody was sanctioned. There was no uh, compensation or attorney's fees granted because the creditor didn't know. But nonetheless, the act is void. So whether it's a deed or a judgment or a garnishment or whatever occurs, it's just void. It never occurred. Uh, now, if the creditor knew about the filing, now you have a willful violation, which would result in attorney's fees, costs, uh, compensation to the client. Any questions about this area of law? I'd be happy to talk to you. Thanks for listening.